Hello and welcome into Palacio de Deportes, Jose Maria Martin Carpena in Malaga, Spain for the gold medal game of the 2022 FIBA U-17 Basketball World Cup between the host nation Spain and the United States of America. I'm Craig Feta and I'm so glad you can join us wherever you're tuned in from around the world on the Basketball Channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash FIBA. If this is the first game you're tuned in for for this tournament, it's a little bit different of a format from a standard play-by-play -play, uh, broadcast. I'll be interacting with fans in the live chat on the YouTube stream. I won't be able to respond to every comment or question, but I'll try to get to as many as I can. We just ask that you keep it friendly and respectful. No bullying, no politics, that sort of thing, and we will all have a good time. There you get a look at the starting lineup for Team USA. Koa Pete, David Castillo, Ron Holland, DJ Wagner, and Sean Stewart. For Coach Charmin White. And now we'll look at the starting five for Team Spain. A little bit different of a lineup than we've seen from Team Spain in this tournament so far. It's going to be Conrad Martinez, Alvaro Fogueras, Lucas Langurita, Ethan Almanza, and Hugo Gonzalez. There's the head coach for Team Spain, Javier Zamora. Spain comes into this one at 5-1 and one in the tournament. They lost the opener to Lithuania. In Group B play, a little bit of an upset there, but Lithuania made it all the way through to the semis. 
before losing in the bronze medal game just a little while ago to France, 66-58. Spain went on to win five games in a row, defeated France 68-53 in the semifinals after beating Australia in the quarters. USA a perfect 6-0 on this tournament. They are 43-0 all time in the U-17 tournament. They have won five straight U-17 World Cups. And saw a question in the chat, does Spain have any chance? Of course they have a chance today, but one of the things that they're going to have to do today is take better care of the basketball. They're averaging nearly 16 turnovers a game in this tournament, shooting only 33.6% from three-point range. So if they're going to have a chance against the USA, they are going to have to hit more from outside and take better care of the ball. Spain averaging only 79.2 points per game offensively in this tournament. The USA averaging 103 points per game and giving up only a tournament best 58.8 defensively. Our officials for this game, Julio Anaya of Panama, Gatti Salins of Latvia, and Karim Baki of Turkey. Spain did keep it close against the USA in a pre-tournament exhibition game. Just, I believe it was three days before the start of this one a week ago. USA won that one by only four, 73-69. So we shall see if Spain can keep it close. USA taking on Team Spain and all the fans here in Malaga. Spain wins the tip and we are underway. So glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. For all the official tournament statistics for this game, go to u17worldcup.basketball. The initial drive by Martinez, no good. And the ball is on the floor. Spain gets it back. Martinez to Adai Mara up off the glass. Beg your pardon, that's Ethan Almanza. And Spain has an early 2-0 lead. Once again, if you're just joining us, a little bit different of a format as David Castillo gets the shooter's role. He'll be interacting with fans on social media at 400 likes already on this game, yeah. Go ahead and click on that thumbs up button as Almanza soars in for the rebound. Here comes Hugo Gonzalez, feeds Almanza down close, and he's going to go to the free throw line to try to complete the three point play. Throw no good. Rebounded though by Fulgueras. Spade up 4 2. So a little bit different of a lineup. We talked about that when we mentioned the starting lineups. Javier Zamora. Is going to bring in a couple of his big guns off the bench as Sean Stewart gets the easy right-hand layup, and we're tied up at four. Adai Mara and Sergio De La Rea will be coming off the bench in this contest. A little stop and go by Martinez. Now here's the drive by Hugo Gonzalez, and... Spain is up 6-4. Holland, nice feed inside to Castillo. Castillo high off the glass and in. Castillo wanted a foul, no call. Go ahead and give me a shout out in the chat on YouTube. Tell me where you're watching from around the world. We've had viewers from all over the globe in this tournament, as you would expect. Three-pointer rattles out for Martinez. Made a lot of friends in Lithuania in this tournament. Had a lot of fun calling their games. 
That three out of the way from Castillo, no good. Rebounded by Almanza. Tied up at six, coming up on seven minutes to play first quarter. We have a watcher from Turkey. I know we got some folks watching in Lithuania after just watching the bronze medal game against France. Another offensive rebound for Spain. Pogueras pulls that one down. Gonzalez now, he gets taken out of the air. That foul is going to be on Koa Pete. Nice rotation by Pete. And a good foul by Pete. Kept it clean in the air. Didn't do anything to try to injure the player. Watching from Gambia. Oklahoma in the U.S., Ireland. You were from Plymouth, Maine, no doubt cheering for Cooper Flagg. We haven't seen him in the game as of yet, but I'm sure we will see a lot of Mr. Flagg. Some fans asking about an unsportsmanlike on that block by Koa P. That was not an unsportsmanlike. There was... No ill intent there. He did not take him out of the air. He did play the ball. And it was not an excessively hard foul. So I agree with the officials. Julio and I made that call. That, that was not an unsportsmanlike or technical foul for that matter. 6-10 to play first quarter. We are tied up at 8. Here's Martinez working on Stewart. Martinez gets Stewart in the air. Misses. The bank shot, it sails out of bounds, and they're going to say that went off of Team Spain. So that's going to be U.S. ball. The viewers from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Jamaica, Berlin, Birmingham in the U.K. Drove through there many years ago. Juanya, Spain. Hey, Peoria, Illinois, I'm just a few miles away from you. Don't know how many are in attendance. We expect about 8,000 here at Palacio de Deportes Jose Maria Martin Carpena here in Malaga. Mozambique, Kenya, Poland. Great to see everybody checking in from all over the world. Spain really crashing the glass on this game so far, although at that time Hugo Gonzalez unable to corral the loose ball for the defensive end. Spain already with five rebounds. The USA, no rebounds on either end of the court. If you're looking for additional content, head over to Facebook or Instagram and search us out at Next Gen Hoops. A lot more content there. And when you share and comment, that three-pointer up and good. That was Alvaro Fogueras, and it's a three-point lead for Spain. When you share and comment on the socials, use the hashtag FIBAU17. Turnaround jumper for Sean Stewart won't go. <laughs> Watching from Wakanda. Glad to see people checking in from the fictional universe as well. Don't think I'm going to uh, fall for any of those. Still have some people trying to convince me they're watching from Antarctica and the International Space Station. Kidderminster in the UK checking in. Philippines. Carlo Huevo in Spain. Got a viewer in Sweden. Denmark. Here's Jeremy Fears into the game now. Seven to shoot. Fears backs it out. Shot clock winding down. Fears loses the handle. Spain looking to extend this three-point lead. Kick out into the corner. Now out to Mari for three. No good. 
Rebounded by Cooper Flagg. And another steal by Mari. Reverse layup won't go by Carter Knox. I beg your pardon, that was Jeremy Fears and a whistle. And Conrad Martinez wanted a foul for a goaltend, but absolutely not. There was, I didn't see any contact on that replay, and it didn't look like there was any contact with the ball either. So great defense getting back on the fast break by Team USA. Miss on the three-pointer by Koa Pete. Came into this one one for four from three-point range. Folks checking in from Lebanon, Puerto Rico. Got somebody checking in from the upside down. Another viewer from a fictional universe. Haven't had a chance to watch season four of Stranger Things yet. Had a lot of basketball on the brain lately. Three-pointer on the way from Fulgueras. That one misses wide right. Pete the rebound. USA trying to cut into this five-point lead. Sears soars up and lays it in with the right hand, and he's going to go to the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. Fulgueras comes out of there. Checking his grill. I can see that Fulgueras had a little bit of a beef with that. It does look like Fears went out and kind of cleared out with the left arm on his way to the hoop while he was in the air. Free throw up and good. Fierce completes the three-point play and USA back to within two. Up ahead to De La Rea. He's trapped along the sideline and Team USA comes away with a steal. Turn it back over in their own backcourt. Now Spain has it. And an offensive foul, good call there. Team USA averaging a ridiculous 16.2 steals in this game. As we see Ethan Almanza run over Koa Pete. Nice defensive play there by Koa Pete. He's ranked the number two player in the class of 2025 by ESPN 25 recruiting rankings. Attended Perry High School from Gilbert, Arizona. Alley-oop won't go to Pete. And here comes Spain once again. Two-hand dunk soaring in by Hugo Gonzalez. My goodness, Hugo Gonzalez went up with two hands and absolutely destroyed the rim. They want to call timeout and check the basket at that end. Hugo Gonzalez at six foot four, just 16 years old, went up there and absolutely wrecked it. So Team USA trailing by four. Into the corner now, three on the way from Carter Knox. That's no good. Rebounded by Adai Mara. And now a little backcourt pressure and the foul called against Boogie Flan. Glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. Give us a shout out in the chat. Click that thumbs up on the YouTube stream. Share that stream as well. Use that hashtag FIBAU17. YouTube.com slash FIBA for the basketball channel where you can search FIBAU17 World Cup. And for additional content, head over to Facebook or Instagram at NextGenHoops. Kick out, another three on the way. This one by Murray, and that is good. Good. 
Spain now with a seven point lead, 18 11. Cooper Flag answers at the other end. Now, where's my dunk replay at? And another dunk by Spain. That one. Adaimara goes up. And now Team USA wants timeout as Spain takes a 20 to 13 lead inside of a minute to play first quarter. Beautiful dish from Conrad Martinez. And the fans here in Palacio de Deportes, Jose Maria Martin Carpena in Malaga. Having a ball early. Just a fabulous atmosphere here. Glad to see so many fans interacting in the chat as well. My name's Craig, if you are just joining us. A little bit looser of a format on the play-by-play -play here. I'll be answering questions and responding to comments in the live chat on the YouTube stream. Can't get to all the comments and questions. I will get to as many as I can. While you're watching the stream, click like. Hit that thumbs up button. Last I checked, we were over 400. I'm hoping we can get over 5,000 likes. So if you're watching, go ahead and click on that thumbs up. Flag's got it, top of the key. Spins his way in, now looking to give it up. Here's Fears, high left side. 136 to play. Now a three on the way from Carter Knox. That's no good. Flag can't get the tip in. And here comes Spain back the other way. Hugo Gonzalez with a little acting job there to try to draw the flag. The flag, the foul. Haven't even been watching any American football. Call a flag. <laughs> Long three on the way. Probably not a great shot there by Conrad Martinez from about 30 feet. How tall is Adai Mara? He's seven foot three. And he's just 17 years old. How many spectators in the gym? I expect there to be about 8,000 for this contest as the home team Spain takes on a team that has never lost in this tournament. USA coming in at 43-0 in the U-17s. But Spain with a seven-point lead with 50 seconds to play in this first quarter. And a foul called. I believe that's going to be on D.J. Wagner. It is. USA has closed the gap on rebounding. Spain still with a 10-7 advantage. Here's Martinez. Around the screen by Mara. Back to Langarita. Now over in the corner. Pass nearly intercepted by Castillo. The jumper no good. Flag the rebound. Here's Castillo calling for the screen from Pete. The way he put that floater up, David Castillo, it looked like he was expecting Pete to soar in for the alley-oop. That didn't quite look like a like a jump shot. I mean, it, it, effectively a teardrop floater, but he was way off on that, which led me to believe that was just kind of a an alley-oop type pass. So 
So the first quarter comes to an end. Spain leading Team USA 20 to 13. It's the gold medal game live in the 2022 FIBA U-17 Basketball World Cup in Malaga, Spain. As we look at some of the shooting numbers, Team USA has not made a three-point shot yet in this game. Back with second quarter action in just a moment. Welcome back to Palacio de Deportes, Jose Maria Martin Carpena in Malaga, Spain for the gold medal game of the 2022 FIBA U-17 Basketball World Cup. Spain leading Team USA 2013 after one quarter of play. Check out some of the numbers on this one. Ethan Almanza, four points, three rebounds for Spain. Adaimara, two points. Lucas Mari, three points. Conrad Martinez, two points, three assists. Alvaro Fogueras, three points. Hugo Gonzalez has six. That rounds it out for Spain. For Team USA, David Castillo with six. Sean Stewart, two. Jeremy Fears, three. And Cooper Flagg with two. Back underway. And Sean Stewart goes up and destroys the rim. Team USA cuts it to five at the start of the second quarter. Easy feed there. And a nice finish by Lucas Mari. So glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. Here on the Basketball Channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash FIBA. Sean Stewart denied on the dunk attempt. Pete, the offensive rebound, goes up with the left hand off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Mara. And a foul under the bucket after the rebound by Mara. Let's check in on some of the other scores going on in this tournament today. Mali defeated Lebanon 75-54. Dominican Republic over Japan 85-68. Slovenia over Poland 77-74. Argentina down New Zealand 80-70. Canada over Egypt 92-70. In the fifth place game, it was Serbia over Australia 69-67. And then just a little while ago, France defeated Lithuania 66-58 for bronze. Spain turns it over. Here comes Castillo. Back out. Three-pointer on the way by Wagner. That's short. Let's see what Gatis Salines calls. Fans thought Sean Stewart got that foot over the timeline, and Stewart gets the layup. And he's going to go to the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. Beg your pardon, that was Ron Holland. As Spain maintains this five-point lead with 8.30 to play in this second quarter. Free throw no good by Holland. He's a 62.5% free throw shooter in this tournament. Up ahead and 
Lucas Langarita could not get the finish, but he will go to the free throw line for a pair. He's two for four from the stripe in this tournament. If you're looking for additional content, head over to Facebook and Instagram and check us out at Next Gen Hoops. And for all the official tournament stats on this game and all the others, as well as pictures, videos, highlights, and game recaps, head to the official tournament website, u17worldcup.basketball. Second free throw is up and in for Langarita. And it's a seven-point lead for Team Spain. Now the feet up ahead, and Murray gets fouled on his way to the bucket. Cooper Flag clearly got him on the forearm there and the head. <laughs> How tall is Conrad? I've got him at six feet tall exactly. First free throw up and good. Second free throw won't go, rebounded by Holland. Related happy birthday to Ron Holland. He just turned 16 on July the 7th. Actually, I believe he just turned 17. throw is up and good. Don't forget to click like on our YouTube stream. We're trying to get over 5,000 likes on this game. Second free throw for Castillo. That rattles out and the rebound to Fogueras. Cross court pass, weak side into the corner. Mari. Martinez has it back, directing traffic. Shot clock at seven. And the floater, no good, but the rebound by Ethan Almanza. That shot won't go, and here comes Team USA back again. Flag. And flag travels. A lot of activity in the chat. A lot of fun. Hoping you're enjoying it. I'll try to answer as many questions and comments as I can. What a steal by Cooper Flagg! And the flush at the other end by Ron Holland! My goodness! I don't know that I've ever seen a steal like that. Cooper Flagg just ripped it out of his hands. That's my ball, he said. Here's Mari getting it set back up, and now Langarita. Shot clock at four. Langarita goes in and jams it home with two hands. Seems like everything USA tries to do, Spain has an answer for. A nice follow by Sean Stewart off the glass. Who is Spain's coach? Spain's coach is Javier Zamora. Have I ever played basketball? Yeah, I've played basketball. Backyard, playground. <laughs> I ran a pro team, ran a pro league. Done a lot of broadcasting all over the world. As Almanza scores with the right hand once again. Where am I from? I am from USA. And the pass a little bit too far ahead. For 
Conrad Martinez, and that's going to be Team USA ball. Martinez sits down, and Sergio De La Rea comes back on. You are from Netherlands, Syria. Once again, give us a shout out wherever you're tuning in from around the world. I'll try to interact with as many comments and questions as I can, as the gameplay allows. Flag. Lost it for a moment, got it back, and then went off the glass. Strong play by Cooper Flag to get USA back to within five. Boy, those hands are active on USA for defense. Mentioned it earlier, Team USA averaging 16 steals per game. That is just a ridiculous number. Initial shot block, but Ethan well, Almanza with the follow. The other end, Castillo gets it to roll in. The viewer from Egypt, Sweden, Czech Republic, Germany, Switzerland, Dublin, Greece. The viewer in Lithuania. It's fantastic that we've got so many viewers from all over the world and now a... Another steal by Team USA. That was Jeremy Fears on the steal, and he takes it all the way. Gets the lay, and now Team USA down by just three. Javier Zamora wants timeout. Boy, what quick hands by Jeremy Fears. Nice job by Alvaro Fogueras to avoid the foul there. If you're enjoying this one, this is the gold medal game of the 2022 FIBA U-17 Basketball World Cup. As we look at the game leaders for Spain. Give us a like and a share. We've got 500 likes to go. 500 likes to get to 5,000 already? Is that right? Holy cow. Nice job, folks. If we can get to 5,000 before the end of the first half, we can certainly get to 10,000 by the end of the game. Click like on that thumbs up below the stream. Share the stream with your basketball-loving friends. And when you comment and share, use the hashtag for the U17. And for additional content, head to Facebook and or Instagram at NextGenHoops. Get additional content. Scan that QR code on your screen. That'll take you to Courtside 1891. More live streams from tournaments all over the world. Oh, 2,000 likes, okay. So we're over 1,500 likes. Get 2,000 by halftime. 440 to play in this second quarter. Larea with the feed inside. And the alley-oop! But Aymara goes home and flushes it. My goodness! Gonna have to repaint that rim at that end. Spain's got so many dunks on it. This USA's had some jams of their own at the other end. Crossport pass to David Castillo. His three is up and good. Finally, a three-pointer made by Team USA. And by David Castillo. He's having himself a nice tournament, averaging 10.5 points per game. One of five players in doubles for Team USA in this tournament. And USA down by just two. Foul by De La Rea. Once again, my name's Craig. Glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from. A little bit different of a format on the broadcast here. Monitoring the live chat. On the U-17 
YouTube stream. Try to answer as many questions and comments as I can. As gameplay allows. We'd appreciate a like or a comment or a share. A little Harlem Globetrotter move there by Fears. Ball off the top of the backboard, and Spain comes out of there with the rebound. Here's Mara. I have winning this. Well, right now, Spain's looking awfully strong. It seems like whatever Team USA tries to do, Spain has an answer for. It. That being said, Team USA has about half a dozen players who can absolutely explode and take a game over. So I'm not prepared to make a call on this game just yet. And a question in the chat, is MJ the GOAT? Yes, MJ's the GOAT. <laughs> I grew up in Chicago, so I have to answer that that way. Watched MJ from the very start of his career. So I try to keep my bias out of it, but yeah, I think Michael Jordan's the greatest to ever lace him up. Now that being said, would Michael win in a game of one-on-one -on -one against somebody like Wilt Chamberlain? Probably not. But as far as being able to do everything everywhere on the floor, the impact the game that he's had, it's awfully hard to dispute that MJ is the greatest of all time. Six rings, six NBA Finals MVP awards. Three-pointer up on the way. That rolls off. Rebounded by Asa Newell. And Ian Jackson travels before he makes the move. A viewer in Wales. Get over to Wales in my time in the UK. You were in Puerto Rico, been there a couple times. Had a chance to call games this past season for Reese's to Umacao and BSN this past season. Got to see J.J. Barea, possibly his last pro game in Puerto Rico. Ricky Sanchez, he was on the Umacao team before he got hurt. People are a little bit too strong there. For Adai Mara. Spain up by four. See a lot of players talking about the officials in the chat. I can promise you, I can absolutely promise you, the officials do not care one way or another who wins a game. That's why they, first of all, pick referees that are not from the countries playing in the game. Beautiful finish there by Sergio De La Rea. And a block at the other end by Mara. And now Castillo steps on the sideline. Number six on Team USA, that is Jeremy Fierce Jr. In my hometown, the city of Chicago, he attends La Lumiere School. He won a gold with 
Team USA in the 2021 FIBA Americas U16. He's trying to win gold here in Malaga. Inside of a minute and a half to play, first half. Spain on top by six. And now here's Holland trapped along the sideline, gets it up ahead to flag. Now into the corner for Castillo. He loses the three, that's no good. And Team USA's three-point shooting woes continue in this one. What's my Twitter? I do have a Twitter, but I haven't been on it in years. I can only handle so much social media. What do I think about Giannis? Giannis is just amazing. I'd sure like to see some of the guys in the NBA now get in a time machine and travel back to the 50s and 60s. I think people's eyeballs would shoot out of their sockets watching some of the athleticism on some of these players today. They would think they were absolutely from another planet. Flag had it, but his foot was over the baseline when he made contact with the ball. Spain ball with 50.2 to play in the first half. Spanish players do I think will be at the 2025 NBA draft? I think a couple of them definitely have potential. The players are this young, they don't quite have the access to the, the training, the nutrition. Even if they're playing on the national teams, they've got some more body development to do. They may not be drafted, but I think they will certainly get a look. Wiped off the rim by Mara. A strong follow by Carter Knox in traffic. That's a good question. Why am I talking about everything but the game? Well, we've got a little bit different of a format on this broadcast. Interacting with fans on the live stream chat. That's the intent of this style of broadcast. We certainly talk about the game when events warrant, but I'd like to interact with everybody on social media, answering as many questions and comments as I can. Top clock is three. Martinez can't get the shot off and taken out of there by Ron Holland. The USA will not get a shot off at the end of the second quarter. And Spain will take a 38-33 lead into the locker room at halftime. Spain led by seven after one quarter, 20 to 13. Neither team shooting particularly well from three-point range. USA just one of ten. Spain not much better, two of nine. USA with the rebounding lead, 24-21. Castillo, the leading scorer for USA with 12 points. Almanza leading Spain, along with Gonzalez, with eight points apiece. Let's take a look at some of the first half highlights as we go over some of the numbers on this one. Sergio De La Rea, two points for Spain. Cuba Gonzalez, eight. He's also got three rebounds. Lucas Langarita, four points. Adaimara has five and four rebounds. Three assists as well. Conrad Martinez, two points, three assists. 
Rebound Almanza, eight points, eight boards already. Alvaro Fulgueras, three points, three boards. Lucas Mari, six points, two assists. That runs up scoring for Spain. For Team USA, David Castillo, 12 points. He's five of eight from the floor. Ron Holland has four points, five rebounds. Carter Knox, two points. Sean Stewart has six points and five boards. Jeremy Fears, five points. Cooper Flag has four points, six rebounds, and three steals. And that runs out the scoring for Team USA. Glad we're so glad you can. Uh, once again, I should say we're so glad you can be with us. Whether you're tuned in from here on the Basketball Channel on YouTube, YouTube.com/slash FIBA. Go ahead and share the stream and use that hashtag FIBAU17 for additional content. Head over to Facebook or Instagram. Check us out at Next Gen Hoops. And for all the official tournament stats, pictures, videos, highlights, and recaps, head to the tournament website, u17worldcup.basketball. Let's check in with the women's U17 championship tournament. They're still in group play in Debrecen, Hungary. Canada defeated Korea 92-58. It was Australia over Argentina, 66-44. Spain defeated Egypt, 86-48. France over Slovenia, 93-56. Germany defeated Mali, 55-44. Hungary down Japan, 79-55. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of the entire nation? Representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. No man flat. Oh, baby! Big time three-pointer! And just listen to this crowd. Again, in that um, zone defense, and, uh, you know, it's such a big task because in the zone, you have to really box out any closest player, and I think France has got some offensive rebounds, which is brings them at least another opportunity to score. Well, what a time there by Noah Panda, just dishing it off to Rick Sachet, who went baseline. Martinez now coming off the screen from Marat. And he's going to get a switch. Oh, under the basket. Well, boy, good day. And that Marat just too big and strong. There's the alley. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, Coop, he just went to a whole new level there with the alley. -oop. Pichard takes his third three-pointer, doesn't get it. And Comrade Martinez in transition. The follow-up, wow, mucho gracias. Well, that is how you do it, Gonzalez style. Giga's going all the way, and again, well, Koopa flag with a rejection. Well, what do we have in transition? And again, we have an easy little duck there. It's Kapuscinska's now here. 
trying to make a penetration. He turns it over. Oh, goes behind the back there. Oh, he got numbers. There's the alley. Oh, baby! Bit of USA transition. Well, Carter Knox, no doubt you're going to see that on the Next Generation Hoops Twitter page. Well, he is the Next Generation. I'll say it one more time. Now coming up one screen again. Goodness gracious! Langarita with a two-handed jam. All of a sudden, Franz have to pull time out because Langarita is looking. Well, look at the dunk here. He wants to have a little fiesta. Once again, welcome in to Palacio de Deportes, Jose Maria Martin Carpena in Malaga, Spain for the gold medal game of the 2022 FIBA U-17 Basketball World Cup. 
I'm Craig Theta, and I'm so glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. A little bit different of a format for this broadcast if you're just joining us. We try to interact with as many commenters on social media as possible, folks watching the YouTube stream. I try to answer as many questions and comments as I can. So it's not quite a traditional play-by-play -play that you might be used to. Love to hear where everybody is watching from around the world. 2,000 likes so far on this stream. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. And you were just joining us. Spain has a five point lead at 38 33. Spain outscored Team USA 20 13 after one quarter. USA outscored Spain 20 18 in the second quarter. USA has never lost a tournament, or rather a game in this tournament. 43 and 0 in the U-17s have won five straight U-17 World Cup championships. Right now they face a five-point deficit coming into the second half. For additional content, head over to Facebook or Instagram. Check us out at NextGenHoops. Comment and share on the socials. Use the hashtag FIBAU17. Once again, let's check in with some of the other scores from today. Mali defeated Lebanon 75-54. Dominican Republic over Japan 85-68. Slovenia 77-74 over Poland. Argentina 80-70 over New Zealand. And Canada defeated Egypt 92-70. In the fifth place game, it was Serbia over Australia 69-67. And in the bronze medal game, France beat Lithuania 66-58. And even though Lithuania lost, yeah, I'll still take the, uh, the potato pancakes. And let's listen in to the interview with Charmin White. No, I just think we're just rushing some shots. We're just not being... Uh, our characteristics itself, moving the ball, driving, kicking, swinging, which is something we're normal, we, we normally do. But again, we'll make a, we made adjustments, and we'll, we'll play better this half. Are you worried that potentially the crowd and the atmosphere is um, affecting their performance? I mean, that's part of it. I mean, we, we've already played them in a friendly, and they had a packed house, and so we knew that was going to be part of the case. And I feel like, you know, again, we'll be better this half, and we just got to continue to do what we do and, and be us, and we'll be fine. And what did you say to them in the locker room? told them we got to be ourselves. We got to, you know, give second and third efforts and uh, be better defensively, be a little bit more aggressive defensively, and, and we'll be fine. Okay, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Coach, you have complete control of the game. And now the what are you interview with to force Javier Zamora, head coach of Spain. Let's hear his thoughts from halftime. Well, we are good that we need to take care of the ball. Execute, play a big call, and keep working on rebound. I think is the most important thing. And are you worried in this second half that the USA are going to start running more transition basketball? Well, we, we are talking about uh, transition defense. Uh, they are the, the best on this, and we need to stop them. Good luck, Coach. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Serve the thoughts from both coaches, Sherman White and Javier Zamora, as we get ready to start the second half. Spain will have the ball to start off this third quarter. Once again, glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. My name is Craig, and if you're just joining us, a little bit different of a format on the broadcast. A lot more interactive with the folks commenting in the live chat on the Game stream, youtube.com slash FIBA, the basketball channel. Three pointer on the way from Hugo Gonzalez misses, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. Yeah. 
Wagner. Backs the right side and a whistle before the shot. We got to 2,000 likes in that first half. Let's try to get to 5,000 before this one's over. Click that thumbs up button. Inbound pass stolen by Hugo Gonzalez. Here comes Conrad Martinez. And traffic and puts it over the right hand off the glass and good. DJ Wagner. Over the outstanding extended arm of Adai Mara. And the jump ball called with the USA ball on the alternating possession. Shout out from Vienna, Austria. That's a city I'd sure love to visit. Give us a shout in the chat, wherever you are watching from. Sean Stewart's long jumper misses. Viewers from all over the world. We had one check in from Wakanda. <laughs> in the first half, as well as the upside down. Got somebody cheering for Argentina. Hate to break it to you, they're not in this game. <laughs> Although Team Argentina did defeat New Zealand earlier today, 80-70. to Found pass out to Wagner. He drives. With the left hand up and good. Martinez nearly had it poked away by Castillo. And Castillo showing a little frustration as he gets whistled for the foul. Jupiter, apparently. Is the Wi-Fi on Jupiter. Nice shake to lose Castillo, but he can't finish. Rebound by Sean Stewart. That three is up and good by Ron Holland. And Team USA down by just two. Team USA has never led in this game. They led by as many as eight in that first half. Now over to Gonzalez for three. That's good! Back to five. Off the last one. Oh, and it's an offensive foul on Ron Holland.
left hand, and Imara scores. It's back to the seven point lead for Spain. Nice jumper there, and close by DJ Wagner. Side coming up on seven minutes to play in this third quarter. USA back to within five. They cut it to just two a couple of moments ago. USA has never led in this game. Fans watching in Gilbert, Arizona. And their Poet Pete's biggest fans. Attended Perry High School. Martinez hits the first free throw. He's a 71% free throw shooter in this tournament. Gonzalez. Go ahead and click that like button as you're watching the stream here. We're trying to get over 5,000 on this game. I'd like to get to 3,000 before the end of this third quarter. Still got plenty of time. And give us a shout out wherever you're watching from around the world in the live chat. My name's Craig. Hope you're enjoying this style of broadcast. Quite the traditional style of broadcast. Saved in by Pete. Flags close shot won't go. And now finally tracked down by Langarita. Out of bounds now. And it's going to be Spain's ball. On the attack off the glass, won't go, but he's going to go to the free throw line as the foul is called on Ethan Almanza. You were in Jamaica, one in Bulgaria. If you were in Hungary. One of the women's 17 World Cup in Deverson. Today. In that tournament, Canada defeated Korea 92-58. Australia over Argentina 66-44. Spain over Egypt 86-48 as Pete hits the second free throw. France over Slovenia 93-56. Germany defeated Mali 55-44. Hungary, the host nation over Japan 79-55. USA defeated New Zealand 102-34. And Belgium. Down Mexico, 92-43. Shout out to Panama City. It was there in 2016 for the FIBA Central Basket Championship. Absolutely lovely city. Martinez will go to the free throw line. This free throw is short. Let's look at Javier Zamora. He has engineered his team to a six point lead in this third quarter thus far. Couldn't quite see what Zamora was upset about there. And the second free throw is good. Flag. And that foul 
is going to be on Almanza. For additional content, head over to Next Gen Hoops on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram. Tried to create an Instagram account, but I put in my age and they immediately kicked me off. I'm way too old for Instagram apparently. <laughs> but when you comment and share on the socials, use the hashtag of FIBA U17 and head to the tournament website, U17WorldCup.basketball, for all the official stats on this game, as well as photos and video highlights from all the tournament games. Then when this one's over, follow the women's tournament taking place in Debrecen, Hungary. They are still in the group phase in that tournament. Castillo loses his footing, and Spain comes out of there with this. Regueras gets it back. Thought about launching three, and then he gets whistled for the foul. Rather the travel. Where do I rank Kobe all time? Man. I think Kobe's definitely top six. And Sean Stewart misses the point. And obviously, you got to go. No particular order. I'll put, I'll put Jordan at one. I'll, I'll, I'll unequivocally defend that. MJ at one, and then you can make a case for Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem, LeBron. On the top four. Kobe's got to be up there, top five. Free throw is good by Sean Stewart. Alec Oscar Robertson. Talk about Larry Bird. Some of the modern players as well, whose careers are still going on or just ended. Definitely make cases for them. I think at one point Larry Bird would have been top five. I don't think he's top five anymore. Lob up ahead to Holland and his shot goes. USA back to within two at 48-46. With 4.41 to play in the third and Javier Samora wants timeout. As USA are getting ever closer. They've gotten within two points a couple of times. They've never led in this game. Supporting Team Spain here in Malaga. Got a closing look at Javier Zamora and the Team Spain huddle. videos and recaps, photos. Oh, oh, oh. 
folks saying that this is a replay. No, this is not a replay. I can promise you this is live. Pressure in the backcourt by Team USA. Here comes Martinez finally across the timeline. Shot clock down to six. Gonzalez. Shot at two. Mara doesn't know. But the shot clock expired. They did get the shot off. No good. Flag the rebound. Soaring in right hand for Sean Stewart. Stewart now with 10 points. Kick out. Here comes Gonzalez. Tomorrow the jumper comes up short. Another rebound for Super Flag. Stewart gets it out to Flag. Flag challenges the big man, and Mara blocks it. USA gets it back. Holland for three. That rattles off. Another rebound for Mara. Martinez back to his left. We are tied at 48. Spain has led from the outset. Now ball on the floor. And that is a shot clock violation, and now an unsportsmanlike call. Patti Salines with the unsportsmanlike call on Jeremy Fears. So that's going to be two shots and the ball for Spain as Sherman White gets the explanation. I did not see what Fears did if he just ripped the ball out of the other player's hands on the floor. After the shot clock violation had already been decided. But if you're new to international basketball, there is not a lot of discussion allowed between players and officials or coaches and officials. I did not see that Fierce said anything. So I don't know exactly what Fears did, and now Spain turns it over. They, they made one of two free throws. Now saved inbounds nicely by Wagner. Team USA looking for its first lead of the game. 2.45 to play third quarter. Reverse layup is up and good. Jeremy Fears gives Team USA its first lead of the game at 50-49. 2.35 to play third quarter. Stolen away by Flag. And Fears with the two-hand flush. And now all of a sudden, Team USA up by three. Fans trying to will Spain back on top in this one. Spain looks a little rattled right now. Giving up this lead to Team USA. Now goes out of bounds and it'll stay with Spain. It went off of Cooper Flag there. So Spain's ball with fresh 14. Here's De La Rea around the screen by Almansa and USA with another steal. Here comes Jeremy Fears for the lay-in, and now Zamora wants timeout as Team USA now is rolling. They've got a five-point lead, 54-49.
Palacio Deportes has gone quiet. As USA has taken its first lead of the game and extended it to five. Jeremy Fears now with 11 points. He's five of five from the floor. Cooper Flagg with five. Ron Holland, nine. Cooper Flagg, by the way, also has 10 rebounds and six steals. Sean Stewart, 10 points. David Castillo with 12. Carter Knox with two. Koa Pete with one. T.J. Wagner, four. For Spain, Ethan Almanza, nine points. Sergio Villarreal, two. Hugo Gonzalez, 11. The Aymara, seven. Should mention that Almanza also has 10 rebounds. Lucas Mari has six. As we come back to live play, another steal for Team USA. Here comes Cooper Flag. This is the dunk with the right hand. And he's going to go to the free throw line. over a minute and a half to play in this third quarter. If you're just joining us. Spain led the entire game until just a few moments ago. Team USA took its first lead at 50-49 and they have since extended it now to a six-point lead off the free throw by Cooper Flag. Flag hits them both and the lead is now seven. Again, we're so glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. Give us a shout in the chat wherever you're watching from. I'll try to interact with as many comments and questions as possible as Gonzalez gets the finish. And now stolen away, but it goes out of bounds off Ethan Almanza with the USA ball. Land to inbound. Quickly to flag. Flag goes up. With the left hand, no. Rebound, tip, grab. Stewart couldn't get the follow. Flag comes out of there with it. Lead pass blocked out of there by Almanza. And now it's Spain ball inside of a minute to play, third quarter. Joliet, Illinois. If you're not familiar with our format here, as Boogie Fland hits the three-pointer. Eight-point lead now for Team USA, 59-51. And if you're not familiar with the format here, this is not a traditional play-by-play -play comment. Interacting with fans on social media. First won't go for Martinez. Game clock down to seven. The USA looking for one final bucket in this quarter. Carter knocks for three. Splash that one. And Team USA up by 11 just like that. Team USA finishes the third quarter with a flurry. And it is 62-51. In favor of Team USA as they look for their sixth consecutive gold medal in the U-17 World Cup. The USA has started to hit a little bit better from three-point range. They're now four of 14. Check out some of the highlights through three quarters. As we go over some of the numbers on this one. We found Almanza nine points for Spain. He's also got ten rebounds. Alvaro Fogueras, three points. Hugo Gonzalez, 13 points. Lucas Mari has six. Conrad Martinez, seven points, five assists. Sergio Villarreal has two points. Lucas Langarita, four. And Aymara, seven points, five boards. 
scoring for Spain. 14 USA, Jeremy Fears, 11 points. Cooper Flagg, 7 points, 13 rebounds, 6 steals. Boogie Fland, 3 points. Carter Knox has 5. Sean Stewart, 10. David Castillo has 12 points. Ron Holland has 9. Go along with 5 rebounds. Philip has 1. And DJ Wagner with 4. USA finished that third quarter with a flourish, outscoring Spain 29-13 in that third frame. As we are back underway here in this fourth quarter. I don't know how many turnovers Spain had in the third quarter to answer a question in the chat, but they have 21 in this game. Nearly another steal by Jeremy Fears, and... Let's see if we can see exactly what happened here. Cross-court pass was tipped. Yeah, that looks like it went off of... Conrad Martinez. Fierce got his hand on it, and then it looked like Martinez got a hand on it as well, but the officials did not see that one, so it's going to stay with Spain. Three-pointer is up and good for Hugo Gonzalez. We're checking in from Honduras. in Windermere, Florida. Coming to Sean Stewart, beats for three. Maybe probably not as part of Knox. A little too strong on that attempt. Again, throw us a message in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from. Try to get to as many questions and comments as I can. My name's Craig, by the way. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast here on the Basketball Channel on YouTube. YouTube.com slash FIBA. Mars jumper misses as the shot clock expires, and here comes the USA back again. Spears, got the traffic. And Stewart, the jumper won't go, rebound by Mara. Three pointer is up, that's no good by Gonzalez. And here comes Carter Knox. And Knox commits the offensive foul. Asking for a little explanation. Uh, that's a tough call in real time right there. Knox definitely lowered his shoulder and led. It also looked like the defender was not entirely set. Moved into the collision. Uh, I don't have any information on Ian Jackson, whether or not he's injured. Another turnover. I'll put the kids in the basement. There's thunder coming. Koa Pete goes up and jams at home. USA back on top by 10, 64-54. With eight minutes to play. Langarita in the corner. Tamara. His jump hook is up and good. Here's now top of the beautiful dish inside of, uh, Jackson. But he could not get the finish. USA gets the rebound, though, and now the three on the way from Wagner. That's short. Holland with the rebound. And foul called. Hugo Gonzalez. So here comes Castillo back in the game. Now here 
is fierce. Puts up a high floater. Morrow was closing defensively. Martinez can't finish the layup. USA with an eight-point lead. Now the nice feed underneath. And Ron Holland the finish. And Team USA, since about the four-minute mark of this third quarter, has really turned on the Jets. Beautiful drive and dish there by Jeremy Fears. Mara. Mara, and jump hook won't go. Spain wants the goaltend called there as the officials confer. And our game officials, Julio Anaya of Panama, Gatti Salins of Latvia, and Karim Baki of Turkey. Touch the net. Didn't look like he pulled on it. The free throw by Mara is up and good. For additional content. Head to Facebook or Instagram. Follow us there at Next Gen Hoops. Skitters out of bounds. It'll be Spain ball with 6.44 to play. Fourth quarter. Share us on the show, uh, socials as well. Hashtag FIBA U17. Still plenty of time to share this stream with your friends. <laughs> alley -oop, and Imara goes up and jams it home with two hands. Inside six and a half minutes to play. USA looked like they were starting to run away with it, but Spain says not just yet as Cooper Flag hits the three-pointer. And the lead is back to 10. Another alley-oop to Adaimara. <laughs> My goodness. Timeout on the floor with 6-10 to play. The USA on top by eight as the home fans trying to get there's Spain, U-17s back in this one. USA outscored Spain in that third quarter, 29-13. Took their first lead of the game. And it's been all Team USA since then. Five players in double figures for Team USA. David Castillo with 12, Cooper Flag 10. Ron Holland has 11, Sean Stewart 10. Jeremy Fears now with 11 as well. Cooper Flagg, the leading rebounder with 13. He's also got six steals. And Aymara has 14 points for Spain. Six rebounds, three assists. Don Almanza has nine points, ten boards for Spain. And Hugo, Hugo Gonzalez leading Spain with 16 points. Go ahead and give us a shot wherever you're watching from around the world in our live chat. Click that like button under the stream as well. Trying to get over 5,000 likes on this game. If you want all the official live stats for this game. Oh my god! 
goodness, Ron Holland goes up and posterizes the defender. That quieted the crowd as Team USA back to a 10-point lead. Again, for the official stats on this game, as well as video highlights, recaps, all sorts of other content, head to the official tournament website, u17worldcup.basketball. Stewart now. Now Holland. Absolute bullet pass inside to Wagner. It was wiped off the rim by Mara. Mara now with the block. Three-pointer from the corner, too strong. Lands in the hands of Fogueras. One of the great plays defensively there by the big man, Adai Mara, at seven foot three. Five minutes to play in USA with a 10 point lead. Half a quarter remaining for their sixth consecutive FIBA World Cup U17 championship as Mara gets another dunk. That would not be a goaltend in FIBA rules. Oh, beautiful spin move there, but a miss by Sean Stewart. Flag. Now Holland, who on the shot clock, and foul called on Langarita. No, beg your pardon. Stepped on the sideline. Exactly right. With FIBA rules. Once it hits the rim, you can wipe it off there defensively. And a block there by Sean Stewart. Wow, he climbed the skywire for that one. And now a foul at the other end on Conrad Martinez. That's going to be an unsportsmanlike. As Martinez did not attempt to play the ball. He's just trying to stop the easy fast break bucket. Even though he was not the last defender. Typically, if there's a defender behind the play, they won't call the unsportsmanlike. But in that case... Martinez did not attempt to play the ball. So it's going to be Jeremy Fierce for a pair of free throws, and Team USA gets the ball. Here strokes them both. Puts the Team USA lead back to 10 with 4.21 to play. Once again, my name's Craig. Hope you're enjoying this game. It was all Spain through about two and a half quarters. For the last 10 minutes, it's been all Team USA. The Wagner shot at the... Horn won't go, and here comes Spain trying to get this one back close again. Still plenty of time for Spain. They showed that they can hang with the Americans, and nicely done there by Lucas Langarita to throw it off the defender Carter Knox to retain possession. Again, doing a lot of interacting with fans on social media. So if you're expecting a traditional play-by-play -play call, that's not what this format is. As Martinez loses the handle, throws it up from behind the backboard as he falls out of bounds, won't go. USA now looking to extend. Three and a half minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Another block by Mara. Layup won't go for Mari, and now 
Amari with the foul. Where is this game? This game is taking place in Malaga, Spain. Let's talk about the turnovers in this game. Team USA with 19 turnovers. Spain with 23. USA with 15 steals. We knew Team USA was going to go for the ball a lot, and you tend to commit a lot of fouls when you try to go for a lot of steals. USA averaging 16.2 steals per game in this tournament. I believe Hugo Gonzalez got his shot blocked there. And now the pretty fadeaway in the lane by DJ Wagner. That gets USA up 12, 75-63 with 2.46 to play in the fourth quarter. And Javier Samora wants timeout. Yeah, Sean Stewart definitely got a hand on that one. Good question in the chat. How many blocks does Mara have? And I, Mara, credited with five blocks in this game. Get all the official tournament stats on this game as well as all the others by heading to the official tournament website, U17WorldCup.Basketball. And for additional content, head over to Facebook or Instagram at NextGenHoops. And when you comment and share us on the socials, use the hashtag EvaU17. that thumbs up on the stream as well. Let us know where you're watching from. Hope you've been enjoying this game. We said for about two and a half quarters, it was uh, not all Spain, but Spain definitely had control. And then halfway through the third quarter, Team USA turned the Jets on. How close is Cooper Flag to a triple-double? He's got 10 points. 17 rebounds, and he's stuck on six steals. If you were in Greece. A few folks check in from Greece as Langarita hits the baseline jumper. <laughs> Jack coming in fast and furious now. Cooper Flag gets back, has another steal. That's number seven. Three more steals, and he's got the triple-double. <laughs> Runner by Wagner won't go. Here's Gonzalez getting it out. Now Martinez back into the corner for Gonzalez on three. No good, rebounded there by Almanza. And the USA foul is going to be on Jeremy Fears. Actually, that looks like it could have been on Almanza. Didn't see a lot of contact there. Certainly not by Fears. The official had a much closer look than I had. Side two minutes to play. Team USA going for its sixth consecutive gold in this game. They have never lost a game in this tournament. Spain with some work to do in this final couple of minutes here if they are going to try to pull off a miracle. Three pointer, no good. Rebound. Grabbed by Sean Stewart. Hope you've been enjoying this one. It's been a lot of fun to call. Interacting with all the fans on the live chat on our YouTube stream. YouTube.com slash FIBA, the basketball channel. Three-pointer missed by Castillo. Cool, and a whistle after that one. And a shot clock violation as that ball never touched the rim.
and 10 to play. Spain has to score with some urgency here. Don't necessarily need three pointers, but they need points. They cannot come away empty handed. Block by flag. Another block by flag. A third block by flag. And the ball gets stuck between the cylinder and the glass. I think Cooper Flag just had three blocks in the space of about one and a half seconds. Flag says, forget the triple double. I'm going for the quad. He's got seven steals. Looks like they only credited him with one block on that exchange. And foul called there by Langarita. I think the staff folks have to go back and watch the replay of that exchange because I think Cooper Flagg had three blocks to himself. His own little block party there. Only got credit for one of them. And now Spain trying to foul to stop the clock. Looks like Team USA is going to be able to close out the host nation, Spain. This would be six consecutive gold medals for Team USA in the U-17s. As Fears hits the free throw. <laughs> Only one block, they tripping. I think I agree with that. <laughs> I counted three from my vantage point, but for the official stats after the game, they might have to go back and look to get flag his proper amount of blocks. That was an impressive sequence by the youngster from Maine. Cooper Flag just 15 years old from Newport. He was the 2021-22 Gatorade Maine Boys Basketball Player of the Year. His mom, Kelly. Played at the University of Maine and was a three-time American East champion. Team captain as a senior. Spain gets it back to within 10. Spain tried to foul there, no call. And now finally, Abel Delicado gets the whistle. Twenty-one seconds to play in the gold medal game. Hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a lot of fun to bring it to you. My name's Craig. Hope you enjoyed the different style of broadcast on this game. Try to do a lot more interacting with the folks on social media in the live chat. Not quite so much with the traditional play-by-play. I was talking about one of the comments in the chat. Somebody said, only one block, they tripping. So I was quoting the uh, quoting the comments in the chat. But I agree with the comment. I think he had more than one block in that sentence. So now Spain holding, and the clock will wind down. And this is all completely unnecessary. Flop by the Spanish player. USA going for one last deal. And Ron Holland. Getting things out of it here. None of this is necessary. You don't need this, especially in international basketball. And Team USA. Celebrating as this one comes to an end, they take gold. Final score, 79-67. Team USA continues its undefeated run in the FIBA U-17 World Cup. Six 
straight gold medals for the final over the host nation Spain, 79-67. Let's take a look at some of the final numbers on this one. Spain, 39% overall from the floor, 22% from three-point range, 62% from the free throw line. Team USA, 40% overall from the floor. 5 of 19 for 26% from three-point range, 77% from the free-throw line. Team USA, 17 steals, but they committed 21 turnovers. Spain with nine steals, they committed 25 turnovers. Spain had 39 rebounds to 50 for the U.S. As we look at some of the individual numbers here. For Spain... Alvaro Figueras, three points, six rebounds. Conrad Martinez, nine points, six assists. He found Almanza, nine points, 15 boards. Sergio De La Rea, two points. Hugo Gonzalez, 16 points, four rebounds, three assists. Lucas Langarita, six points. Adaimara, 16 points, seven rebounds, and five blocked shots. Lucas Mari had 19, or rather, six points and four assists. For victorious Team USA, David Castillo had 12 points. Jeremy Fears had 17 points, six assists, and three steals. Ron Holland, 13 points, seven rebounds. Cooper Flagg, 10 points, 17 rebounds, eight steals, and four blocks. Boogie Flan, three points. Carter Knox had five. Koa Pete, three points. Sean Stewart had 10 points and 10 rebounds. And DJ Wagner with six points. And four assists. They're setting up for the gold medal presentation, as well as the silver medal for the host nation team Spain. Spain lost the opener in this tournament to Lithuania in a little bit of an upset there and then went on to win five consecutive games to make the finals against Team USA. USA swept through this tournament winning all seven of its games. France defeated Lithuania for bronze a little while ago, 66-58. And in the fifth place game, Serbia defeated Australia, 69-67. On the women's side, that tournament is underway. Two games in the group phase already in the wraps. Canada defeated Korea today, 92-58. It was... Australia over Argentina, 66-44. Spain over Egypt, 86-48. France over Slovenia, 93-56. Germany defeated Mali, 55-44. Host nation Hungary, as the tournament taking place in Debrecen, beat Japan, 79-55. USA big over New Zealand, 102-34. And Belgium defeated Mexico, 92-43. Earlier on today here in Malaga, Mali defeated Lebanon, 75-54. Dominican Republic over Japan, 85-68. Slovenia over Poland, 77-44. Argentina over New Zealand, 80-70. And Canada over Egypt, 92-70. Fans here in Spain giving Team USA the business after that scrum at the end. Say, waiting for their gold medals. If you are just joining us, well, you missed a comeback by Team USA. They trailed through two and a half quarters before going on a run there at the end of the third. USA ended up winning by 12, 79-67 as we await the medal ceremony. Spain will be presented 
with the silver medal. And Team USA with the gold medal and the big trophy. already give us a thumbs up by clicking like below the screen give us one last shout out wherever you're watching from and if you want more pictures and videos as well as additional content head over to Facebook or Instagram and follow us there at Next Gen Hoops. And when you comment and share us on the socials, use the hashtag FIBAU17. Get all the official tournament stats on this game as well as all the others. Head to the official tournament website, U17 World Cup Basketball. Stay with it here for the medal ceremony. And the teams are getting instructions on how to proceed. Officials as well. Do I call any other levels of basketball as we continue to interact with the chat? I call uh, LBA Serie A games in Italy. A chance to call the Umacao games for BSN in Puerto Rico this past season. A lot of FIBA tournaments in North and South America. We got some comments about who can be the MVP for this game in this tournament. Love to hear your thoughts on who should get the MVP for the tournament. Stewart with a double-double as well, 10 points, 10 boards. A lot of votes for flag for MVP. As we look at the All-Star 5 for this turn, Don Almanza, Team Spain, Lucas Nangarita as well, Cooper Flag from USA, Cole Pete. about to announce the MVP for the tournament. The award is presented by Named the most outstanding player for this tournament. He had nine points, 
in this contest ever. Twelve points and twelve rebounds per game on the tournament. Ceremony. Mayor of Malaga, Francisco de la Torre, handing out the silver medals to Team Spain. A nice tournament for Spain after losing the opener to Lithuania. Came back and won three straight in their group and defeated Australia in the quarters. Got a tough France team, 68-53 in the semifinals. And then France defeated Lithuania, 66-58 for bronze. with their bronze medals. Again, if you're just joining, it's Team USA winning gold medals by defeating host nation Spain here in the championship game 79-67. Tournament MVP. Donald Monsa, nine points and 15 rebounds in this game. In Spain getting their silver medals. Conrad Martinez. Mari, Vicente, Sergio de la Rea. Great tournament. The fans have been just outstanding. Support for all the teams. Support in the live chat as well. By fans from all over the world. Had a lot of fun interacting with the fans from Spain, Lithuania, Slovenia, and of course, Team USA fans. A lot of shout outs from the state of Maine, where the flag is from. 
I had a monster game. Deputy FIBA America's president, Carol Callan. Cooper flag with 10 points, 17 rebounds, 8 steals. This is UC Richards. A friend of mine had a chance to spend a lot of time with him in Central America and the Caribbean. 7's had to bend down quite a bit to get his gold medal. Carol Callen. Dennis Evans. Got a birthday coming up in a couple of days. That's a nice birthday gift for him. He's going to be 17 on July 13th. And you get a look there at Tournament Champions Team USA. Let's listen to the national anthem for the United States. Basketball World Cup champion, sixth consecutive gold medal in this event, 44 and 0 in this tournament since its inception. FIBA president. Again, if you're just joining us, the game's over. USA won 79 67. Spain led by as many as eight points. And all the way up to the, through the midway point of the third quarter as the USA gets the confetti shower. Then the USA went on a monster run at the end of the third quarter, outscoring Spain 29 13 in that decisive third quarter, and then scoring Spain by one in the fourth, 17 16. Spain led by five at halftime. Took bronze earlier today with a 66 win over Lithuania. Thank you very much for attending tonight. Thank you. Great tournament by Team Lithuania. They made it to the final round. Spain. Great comeback in this tournament after dropping their opener to Lithuania to make it all the way to the gold medal game. Falling here to the U.S. 79-67, and USA is not really challenged in this tournament until this game. They trailed through two and a half quarters, and then USA 
turned it on and ran away. Again, in this game, Team USA led by Jeremy Fears with 17 points. One of five players in double figures for Team USA. Cooper Flag with the impressive stat line. 10 points, 17 rebounds, eight steals, and four blocks. I think he should have had about two or three more blocks in one particular sequence. In the span of about one and a half to two seconds, Flag threw himself a little block party. Highlights from the second half. Again, the tournament MVP, Ethan Almanza, for Team Spain. There were four players from the All-Star Five in this tournament in this game. by Jeremy Fears, and no doubt we are going to see a lot of these players achieving great things in the NCAA in the coming years, and then certainly the NBA. Perhaps even see some of the Spanish players Coming up with Aymara, 7 foot 3, and certainly going to get a look. Hugo Gonzalez at just 16 years old, already 6 foot 4, had himself a nice tournament. Ethan Almanza, 6 foot 9, at 16 years old. Sergio De La Rea, a very good point guard. So the future for Spain is right. Anthony Cordera had himself a nice game as well. As the second quarter highlights progress, or rather the second half highlights progress, we're going to see more highlights for Team USA. Once again, the final score from Malaga, Team USA is golden, 79-67 over the host nation Spain at the 2022 FIBA U-17 Basketball World Cup. We are so glad you can be with us wherever you tune in from around the world. My name's Craig. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Again, a little bit different format than you might have been used to. Try to interact with folks on social media as much as we can. And we encourage you to subscribe to the basketball channel on YouTube, FIBA dot, or YouTube.com slash FIBA. As well as Courtside1891.basketball. And for all the official tournament website information for the U-17 World Cup uh, basketball for the stats and video replays and highlights, game recaps. And now that the men's tournament is over, go ahead and follow the women's tournament. They are in the group phase in Debrecen, Hungary. Again, the final score, Team USA 79, Spain 67. Team USA wins gold. This is the 2022 U-17 Basketball World Cup. Thanks for watching, everybody. So long for now.
led your team to a victory. It was tough at the beginning. What went through your mind in that second half? Second half. What in my mind is we've been here before. You know, last year we came down, we, we was down at halftime, and I just figured, figured out that coach was doing a great job of preparing us. And hey, Ron Holland, baby! Ron Holland, baby! <laughs> I feel like we, we got the coach doing a great job of preparing us, and that makes me 